Uh, so tonight, I was. Uh, this is the second week of white collar boxing training, and uh, so it's a lot of learning how to punch and, and hit, and actually learning how to be hit without flinching or closing your eyes, and a lot of ab work. Barbara is an office worker in Beijing. She's one of around 60 amateurs training from scratch, aiming to enter a boxing tournament in 12 weeks' time. Uh, so today was the first time we were actually hitting each other. Um, so we were working on uh, jabbing uh, cross or straight punches and the uppercut. Um, and also just learning how to move to block the other person and to how, to, how it feels when you're hit. White collar boxing has grown popular in big cities across the world. The sport gives complete amateurs the opportunity to train for and compete in a competitive boxing tournament. Around 20 of the best will be chosen to fight each other in the ring. But it requires huge amounts of dedication. Participants not only need to learn how to fight, but also reach a very high level of fitness. But that's part of the appeal. This is actually my second year doing this. Uh, I came back because I had a lot of fun last year. Uh, I didn't. I never thought that I would be really into boxing. I was a runner. I ran marathons. I never did anything contact sport. But a couple of friends convinced me to come with them last year, and it's just it's really exhilarating. You feel like, I've never been more fit in my life basically last year. And when I stopped, I got really out of shape. So I decided, well, this year I have to come back, and I'm gonna keep it up some more. Here uh, we want uh, them to uh, improve their stamina, flexibility, uh, their basic uh, combination of punching, and then uh, how to do how to do it, how to apply it. Jason says training complete amateurs to fight is not just challenging for them. Uh, for me, it's very difficult because you know teaching these guys like uh, uh, 20 years, 30 years and above. Their body is already too stiff, you know, too stiff. So we need to uh, get uh, more their uh, body more flexible, and then their stamina is very low because, of course, they are always there in the office, sitting, doing some computers and stuff, something like that. So it is here only they can do some training. So that's why we are uh, pushing them hard. Two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do it. For many of the participants, the intensive training has been a baptism of fire. Oh god, I was immobilized. I was pretty much handicapped and for two or three days couldn't move, um, could hardly walk. Yeah, it's great. It feels great. <laughs> it's also kind of like a mental training I want to do for myself. This is to add some structure in my life because, you know, it's, People are not meant to be working at a desk for 10 hours a day, which is very you know, common in my industry. We don't get any sort of workout, and we also have lots of stress, lots of pent-up anger, so this is a great outlet. So this is my fourth class, no, fifth class, um, and everything just still feels pretty awkward. I think it's kind of like a baby learning to walk, or like when you have a teenage boy who grows super fast and they don't know where their limbs are, so there's sort of a sense of not quite knowing where everything should be, which I hope will iron itself out. For some, the idea of learning to hit someone feels strange, but not Kat Nelson. I'm actually okay with it. I kind of like it, um, but <laughs> I don't, I, I think like as my form gets better, hopefully it'll feel, it'll feel better. I de definitely just feel like I'm like punching in the dark to a degree. Like if you looked at Barbara, she knows what she's doing a lot more and like she has a lot more power behind what she's doing. I'm kind of flailing still. Um, but as for the question of like hitting people, I'm okay with it. I kind of enjoy it, so. But despite some teething problems, trainer Jerson is impressed. So far, the progress is, uh, is very fast. We start already uh, contact, body contact. Then we can see they are applying already. Then that's it. It's very fast. The uh, progress is very fast. Yet just 12 weeks is not long to teach people how to fight in their spare time. Some may question whether it's possible or even safe. Uh, that's why we, are, we start first from the very basic the very basic uh, techniques of boxing. We start from footwork, and then after footwork, body movement, and then the basic punches. 
and then we also we always uh, uh, guide them you know one by one if possible one by one we always guide them one by one and then we uh, we want to remove the fear inside of them but the idea of women boxing is not accepted by all um i think my parents are unimpressed i think they'd rather i was doing something a little lower impact my mom keeps saying to me oh darling why don't you go back to gymnastics I haven't told my parents because I don't think they, uh, yeah, they just don't think that having someone hit at your head is necessarily a smart idea, which I agree with. It's pretty dumb, um, kind of like American football, but there is something appealing to it. I haven't told my parents yet. Uh, they're a little bit traditional on the Chinese side. They don't think that girls should be fighting, whatever, but um, my friends think it's great. They also always thought that I seemed like the type who would be, you know, into boxing. These girls have many weeks of grueling training ahead of them. It's a big commitment that demands time, energy and discipline. Others have known to drop out. Do these guys have what it takes? Kat Nelson thinks so, thanks to her taekwondo training. It's intense, but it's actually only three times a week, which balanced with the full-time job and all of that ends up building up but I guess when I was younger I was training six days a week for like an hour and a half to three hours a day um, and and that was that was pretty intense so this seems this seems all right to me oh. um, I'm very busy three three nights a week is um, it's a lot of commitment um, but it's surprising because a lot of people they make it every single night for 12 weeks so you know, I paid for this, I want to stick with it to the end, and there's all these intimidating guys in my class. You know, I definitely want to say there, give my, like, 200% so I can, you know, be as good as them. So here, go.